Okay, 13 minutes after nine, morning extra continues. You know, the Western and Southern Open is staying in Mason. This was a breaking story yesterday. Uh, right around 1030 in the morning, we got the news. We're talking about the impacts of the tournament this morning. Dr. Joe Cobbs is here this morning from uh, the Haley uh, College at Northern Kentucky University to talk to us more about the big impact. And first off, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. Good to see it. So, you know, look at some of these stats here. You're talking $80 million that come into the local area. Area, uh, 180,000 visitors uh, from all 50 states. That would have been a big loss if it went away. Oh, certainly, certainly. And a lot of people, you know, they know Cincinnati around the world because this is obviously a yeah. worldwide international tournament, you know, and they know Cincinnati because we have the tournament. And not only the world, if you look at a geographical standpoint, it's very easy within a half a day's drive from big metropolitan cities like Chicago, Atlanta. Uh, Indianapolis, Louisville, Nashville to get here into Cincinnati. So the location is really ideal for folks who don't want to go and, you know, do the air travel thing. Yeah, it is yeah. kind of the Midwest tournament for sure. So, so what are you, what were some of the factors here on keeping it? We know that BMO Capital uh, broke down, uh, they bought the uh, tournament last year and they're based in Charlotte and there was a lot of thinking that they were going to move it. I mean, they had, they had the funding going into place that came up a little short at the end, but was that the final straw, the funding, or was it more so the tradition and what we have ingrained in this already? Well, I think that certainly worked in our favor, you know, the popularity of the tournament and the way that, that the fans came out just this past year yeah. to support it, uh, and they've always supported it really well. Uh, and so that was, that was certainly a big factor, but we also had to come up with the funding um, because in this type of situation, it does get to be a bidding war between, um, between different municipalities. And so, so from what you understand, what, and, and you actually have a little history of this, you were an intern at the tournament That's right. some 20-some right. years ago. That was a while ago, but yep. yes, I have a connection. So uh, what are some of the improvements, enhancements they're going to be making out there at the uh, uh, Linder Family Tennis Center? Because already it is a, it is a world-class place. I mean, it's not as if, you know, it's a dump. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I agree with you. It's a fantastic yeah. facility now. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing kind of what enhancements they're going to do. I'm sure some we won't see uh, as fans. Uh, right. Some will be on the player side as they expand the tournament. And, and from a sports business aspect here, how important is, do you think player input takes a role into this? I mean, players want to come here. They say it. Um, I imagine you want to make players happy too. Yeah, and I think that's been the tournament's philosophy for decades and decades is to be a player's tournament, you mm -hmm. know, to to have the facilities and the players lounge and the workout facilities. I know they upgraded some of those this past year Yeah, yeah. Um, to, to keep up with what players expect. And when it comes to the catering and the food service and all that, because I mean, a lot of those restaurants that come in there now, they got to bring all their equipment with them. We nicely maybe get some things and, and, and grow the whole area around that point there. When you, when you look at, at, at big events, big sporting events, mm -hmm. Some people, you know, fuddy duddies sometimes, you know, uh, might go, ah, too much traffic. It's this. I just want to go and watch. But at the end of the day, uh, it's a huge benefit there. Talk a little bit about that. Sure. Well, specifically for this tournament, because it draws so many people from outside of our region, it's bringing in new money, mm -hmm. you know, versus some other sporting events that might draw large crowds. But a lot of that is local money right. that's just recirculating in our economy. But a tournament like this. You know, you're bringing in people uh, from all over the Midwest, as you mentioned, but people from all over the world. And that's new money coming into coming into Cincinnati or Metro Cincinnati. Yeah, but we mentioned over uh, $80 million there. And, and that's only going to go up because of the tournament expanding. Yeah, I think we're, we're excited to see, like, we're getting an extra week, essentially, mm -hmm. or an extra four or five days, I think, in 2025. Well, and it so used to be. increase it as well. Back in the day, uh, if memory serves me right, the women's were one week and the men played another week. So you kind of had that two week, but now it's going to be more players and more combination. Yeah, and I think for, for a while there, we even didn't have the women uh, as part of it. And then, right, yeah. and then they came back uh, as a combined tournament, and now that tournament will be larger. And so um, it'll be bigger and better than ever. Yeah, I think the number here, the uh, commission, Warren County Commissioner David Young uh, had said $150 million dollars. Uh, of economic impact once that goes to uh, two weeks. So even more money coming in. Thanks so much for coming in this sure. morning. Happy to we be appreciate here. good info. And we uh, look forward to many more years of tennis here. It was an exciting, exciting round uh, of, of uh, this past August there, Ethan.
I got Djokovic uh, won, and yeah. uh, of course Coco Golf taking the women's title. Yeah, and, and that match was like over three hours long. If I, I was there, correctly. it was very intense. Yeah, <laughs> it was very intense. How are we looking weather-wise? You know, it's quiet today, but we got some storm threats coming our way, right? Yeah, Friday night going into Saturday morning. It's a first alert weather day.